Hello guys and welcome back to yet another video. So today I've got something a little different from my usual videos. I've ordered a keyboard called a Keychron K1 and it is a very hyped up keyboard and I've also ordered a Keychron K2 uh, which comes with a wooden wrist rest. This the Keychron K2 is a bit of a thicker keyboard which I'll be reviewing in a totally separate video so if you're interested stay tuned for that. But for today's video we're going to be focusing on the Keychron K1 which is a very hyped up keyboard. Um, it's a very low profile keyboard with uh, gator on blue switches. I think you can get them with brown switches, but I've opted for the blue ones. So let's go ahead and start opening the package. All right, guys. So after those technical difficulties, we're back in and we've opened the package. So let's go ahead and continue where we left off. And as you guys can see already, um, the packaging that comes with the keyboard is actually very nice in terms of like it's not packaged in like no cardboard box or anything it's nice bubble wrapped uh, plastic and the chances of this getting damaged in export is very very low and yeah guys so this is the, what the package looks like uh, you guys may or may not be interested but I thought I'd just show it just in case yeah guys so let's go ahead and actually remove the bubble wrap and get into the actual un uh, unboxing itself Alright guys, so I've taken off the bubble wrap and this is what the box actually looks like. I've also taken off the plastic of the box to save you guys some time. And it's got really nice matte finish and a nice little glossy print of what the keyboard looks like. And on the back we have like a little bit of information about the keyboard. On the side we have Keychron K1 printed out, stamped on onto the box. So yeah, let's go ahead and unbox this thing. Right guys, so let's go ahead and just give it a little wiggle. Um, so first things first, we notice that the box does come with a really nice foam sheet uh, for extra protection, I guess. So let's go ahead and take a deep dive into what's actually inside the box. So we have a very nice soft feeling plastic cover on top of the keyboard and we have a cable and I think that is some extra keycaps. So let's go ahead and look at the cable first, first of all. So luckily, um, it is a USB-C cable, so I'm sure a lot of you will be happy with the decision they've made here. Next, we've got a keycap remover. So this is pretty handy for when you would want to change your keycaps, of course, and it does come with a few extra keycaps, just in case you want to change a color or two on the keyboard. It doesn't come with many, I think it's the escape keys and the control keys and just all the main keys like that but looking at the keyboard itself it does feel pretty nice and dense to be 100 percent honest so let's go ahead and just put the keyboard down for just one more second to see what else we have inside the box it does come with the usual stuff which is basically the manual um, in multiple different languages and just the imprint of the keyboard on a sheet of paper stating that it's an 87 key keyboard i should have mentioned that earlier but <laughs> i've mentioned it now so let's go ahead and just put the packaging away so looking at the keyboard, um, the keyboard is actually pretty dense feeling in, in the hand already before even unpackaging it, which is actually a pretty good thing. But first impressions for me are it looks fantastic. This is my opinion. Maybe you guys don't like the look of it, but I really dig the two-tone um, two tone kind of look to it. And already we can tell how thin the keyboard is. And I'll be comparing it to my other keyboard just in a sec. But... The keyboard feels nice it doesn't feel like it's going to wobble or shake on the desk which is a major plus obviously you don't want your keyboard shaking or feeling like it's pretty cheap and plasticky this does not feel like that i can repeat this does not feel like that and i'm just going to shut up and give you guys a little sound test I am going to be giving you a closer up sound test right at the end of the video, um, close to the microphone so you guys can hear it much better. But for now, that will do. But the keyboard, the travel in, in the keyboard itself is all right. It's not fantastic. But as I said, it is much, much thinner and it is a low profile keyboard. So if you're willing to buy a low profile keyboard, you should be expecting this anyway, that the keyboard doesn't have much travel. But size comparison, this is one of the smallest keyboards on the market called the An Pro 2 and you can see it's much thinner however the 87 key Keychron K1 is longer so that is what you have to take into mind when purchasing this. 
So guys, just another quick little close-up sound test. All right, guys, just um, another quick note. The back plate, I'm uh, pretty sure it's aluminum as well. So it's pretty sturdy. So it does not bend if you try to actually pick up the keyboard and bend it. So that's another major plus because you don't want your keyboard obviously feeling cheap and plasticky when you're typing. And that's also what I just wanted to quickly mention. So I hope you did enjoy the video, guys. As you guys can see, I changed the left-hand side escape icon to a grayed out icon. Uh, just to show you guys, um, it looks much more cleaner this way. However, I do like the little orange touch, so I will be replacing it back. But if you did enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe.